In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear friends, good morning. Hope you're all doing well. We are starting a new work week. And today both the readings talk about love of neighbor. It uh, The cost makes it very clear that love of neighbor entails helping people who are in need. And there's also a promise that the Lord will consider as help done to himself, any help that we do to people in need. And secondly, another dimension of love of neighbor is being just and fair, not looking at the person and giving judgment, but giving judgment only as the law requires. And this sometimes, many a times, will put us into some danger. That's what happened to today's, to today's saint, Saint Boniface of Lausanne. He lived in the 13th century and he was the Bishop of Lausanne in Switzerland. At that time, the Emperor was Frederick II and he was being unjust and corrupt with the people. So the Bishop, fulfilling his role of love of neighbour, chastised the Emperor publicly and as a result, the Emperor was incensed and the Emperor's men attacked the Bishop. The bishop then, as a result, resigned his position and he retired to a monastery and lived in peace for the rest of his life and he is of course now in heaven and we venerate him as a saint. But we don't know the plight of that emperor, both on this earth and definitely in heaven. We don't know what happened to him. So, even though there is risks attached with the um, fulfilling this dimension of the love of neighbor that is being fair and just irrespective of who the people we are dealing with, uh, still we don't have to fear because God will be there and he will protect us both on this earth and in the world to come. So let us pray that we will fulfill all dimensions of this love of neighbor, helping people in need and also being fair and just in our dealings with people irrespective of any dangers that may be associated with it. Heavenly Father, we ask you for the grace for us to fulfill all the dimensions of love of neighbor in all circumstances and not to withdraw in our effort because of dangers that may be associated with it. We make this prayer through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Mm-hmm.